Well, like I said in the comments section, you're not going to believe this unless you see it. Check it out. United Nations brings back image of third pagan god. And then it says that religious leaders in Israel are concerned that the United Nations is promoting idolatry after word was released that the organization is helping fund a reproduction of a third pagan god, the goddess of extramarital relations. You know, as students of prophecy, we have been exposing the United Nations for as long as I can remember as, as being the long prophesied pawn that helps to better structure the coming new world order, or one world government, as the prophet Daniel described it long ago. But all this paganism of the United Nations has made our job of declaring truth that much easier. And what I mean is, as obedient students of the Bible, we know the horror of Babylon in the book of Revelation is the Roman Catholic Church. In fact, I have a page solely dedicated to proving that prophesied fact as fulfilled in graphic detail. We also know due to all the pagan fruits described in scripture regarding Babylon's taste for strange flesh, as well as the worshiping rituals of same, that the Vatican prelates, who actually practice on a daily basis in the graphic detail, right down to the fact the catechism or doctrines of the Roman Catholic Church have been confirmed to be borrowed from the pagans to the tune of over 85% of their dogmatic teachings. And get this, we even have the Vatican prelates admitting in writing themselves that all that I just said is historic fact, as shocking as that may be for some to believe. And, but, but that all being said, why is it so many people today do not see any of this? Well, it's because, as also prophesied, the Jesuits who took a vow to their proclaimed Lord God, the Pope, in the Vatican, their express duty has always been to infiltrate all the government and churches of the world and even kill the leaders of those nations and churches that refuse them entry so as to create a one-world government and a one-world church for the Pope so that he can stand as the official leader of both, as he did back during the Inquisitions. Now, many are unaware of this, and I have a few newsletters touching on this prophesied fact. Two that come to mind are the ones of April 1999 and the other one of June of 2000, wherein it was discovered that the San Francisco hotel room, of all places, you know, the unofficial homosexual capital of the world, wherein the United Nations Charter was signed into existence on June 26, 1945, was the exact same hotel room that was used to sign into existence the United Religions Initiative on June 26, 2000, uh, which most know today as the World Council of Churches, that all the 501c3 government-approved churches are members in today. And yes, that is also why they passed homosexual marriage laws on the exact same date of June 26th in America. Uh, it was just a show of loyalty to the largest known organized political group of homosexual pedophiles, the Roman Catholic priesthood. Uh, paganism has and always will be about the worship of the creature over and above the creator of it. You know, hence the reason Paul said what he said to the Romans in Romans chapter 1, verses 22 to 32. And yes, this is why homosexuality is such a huge part of paganism to this day. But why does this article state this is the third pagan god that is promoted and worshipped by the United Nations, which we now know was directed to do so by their pope in Rome? Well, it's because in March of 2016, they publicly funded and erected and then dedicated the Temple of Baal in New York and in London to their dying god. Then just last month in December of 2017, they dedicated a statue of their pagan goddess, Athena, so as to once again please their crippled god. And just this morning, it was reported that the United Nations funded and created the lion goddess of adultery. And so, for those that don't think we are in the very last days wherein bold and obvious devil worship is to be promoted and embraced by our political leaders so as to help the man of sin in Rome do as prophecy predicted he will do when it comes to his one world court, church, and state, what say ye now? Thank you for watching. God bless.